tape number three of 21 cassettes from the Waiting on God held in Chicago, Illinois, Hyatt Regency O'Hare, June 21 to 23, 1992. Concluding the Sunday morning session and beginning the Sunday afternoon session number two, June 21st. Faith, mind to faith, the promises and looks to God alone. Let's out impossibilities and cries, it shall be done. And cries, it shall, it shall be done. And cries, it shall, it shall be done. Let's out impossibilities and cries, it shall be done. Faith, mind to faith, the promises and looks to God alone. Let's out impossibilities and cries. Thank you very much. Wasn't that beautiful? Oh my. Hallelujah. God, for it for the leading of the Holy Ghost, it wouldn't be this way. It'd just be a song with words. But when the Holy Ghost witnesses, oh, that touches my heart. It's alive. It's alive when the Holy Ghost leads. And we want to praise and adore him and glorify him. I see we're in the fourth hour now. We've already passed three. So we must come to a close. So let us have the announcements. And as soon as the announcements are over, we have the closing prayer, uh, Brother John. Edwin Helm, I'd like for you to pray the dismissal prayer, please. Eternal God, our Father. <clears throat> We are grateful to you for this morning and for every song that's been sung that has been as we leave here we may leave in the same spirit in which we've worshipped. We ask Father that you'll bless us as we go to eat and that which we nourish in the physical. May it energize us in such a way that we can honor and bring honor to one another, and especially to you. Dismiss us with thy blessings in the name whose name is above every name. Begin session number two, Sunday afternoon, 62192. That was entitled, Only Waiting for the Morning. It's one of the great melodies, isn't it? I think it's one of my wife's favorite. Sometimes I have her to read it, but uh, since her eyes are like they are, it's difficult to do that. Come up and sing that. Stand with sister and sing that, if you please. This is my brother, and I was privileged to lead to Jesus when he's 12 years old. He asked me to play checkers with him. Ended up in a 
conversion. Jesus saved him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, brother. <laughs> when to sing this at prayer meeting some time ago when my brothers were singing and he didn't know he was going to sing it just like here and uh, the Holy Spirit came so sweetly upon him that he, he sang beyond himself and the next day we recorded we six brothers recorded my wife and Jewel and then on Sunday morning at Daniel his son's church mother's church, his mother's pastor at Somerville we, we had it and he sang it again so my brother Richard, next to me, uh, he said to me, when we got home, he said, say, tell me about that song. What was that song Edwin sang Thursday night? I said, the same one he sang Friday and the same one he sang Sunday. He said, really? I said, the anointing made the difference. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. When we reach the land of light Where shadows are no more Oh, what a day When we meet our blessed Savior On that peaceful shore Oh, what a day, oh, what a day that will be when, my dear Savior, I see in those mansions of love. Now the waiting above, oh, what a day, oh, glorious day. <clears throat> when we see that holy city, with its mansions fair. Oh, what a day! When we look upon the glories that await us there. Oh, what a day! Oh, what a day that will be when our dear Savior will see in those mansions of love now the waiting above. Oh, what a day! I didn't know whether I could sing this this afternoon. Just a few minutes or seconds before Lauren called me, I knew you're going to. And I thought, well, if I can sing this, I didn't know it till I did it. Just if I can once. sing it, my brother will know. <laughs> yes. I didn't want to get that high note. Okay. So I'm just thankful. John called me to pray, but I hardly get my prayer Pardon. out this morning. Good night, let's speak yeah. then. I sang a little, and the horse a little throat. Praise the Lord. Okay, Lord. this, uh, Hallelujah. Uh, this uh, last stanza is one of my favorites. You know, we have a lot of friends that's over there. Amen. Yeah. Our mom and dad. 
mother and daddy, mother and father. Uh, they taught us to begin with. Oh yes. How to pray. Yeah, I need that yet. And how to go. Listen to it. It's beautiful. To behold the faces of our loved ones gone before. Oh, what a day from the Savior's presence to be severed nevermore. Oh, what a day! Oh, what a day that will be when our dear Savior will see in those mansions of love now awaiting above oh what a day oh glorious day Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. I didn't know his throat was not so well, but uh, Jesus helped us. Praise the Lord. Thank you. This instrument is, is magnificent. This, this is one of the most marvelous instruments I've ever heard. The quality, the resonance, the beauty, uh, the sweetness. It, it's a marvel to me when I hear the tone of this instrument. So I would like, if you would, uh, Johnny, would you stand and give us the address of to whom to write and appreciation? This is one of the great instruments. It takes four years to build it by hand. It's built in Germany, I believe. Is that right? It's built in Germany. In Vienna. In Vienna. Oh, in Austria. Vienna. And uh, uh, this this, it, you see for us to have the opportunity of such an instrument that our pianist could have this uh, adventure in music and playing. So I'm very grateful. So uh, Brother John Light, through whom it's because of him we have this, through his company. And if you write down, please, uh, the address, I'd like for you to uh, send a word and just say in appreciation and gratitude for this beautiful instrument. And he'll give you the name of it and the company and so on. And uh, I'd be very thankful if you would do that. I remember back two or three years ago, we sent, uh, how many letters did we get in? Uh, last year, there were over 350. 350 letters of appreciation. Yes. And they had never, you told me that all, most of the pianos they loan out come back Bang, you just get a banged up piano back. You, they come back not so good. Right. And uh, so we've tried to take care, Lord helping us, of the instrument and appreciate and show gratitude of this wonderful gift to us. And so thank you for giving us the information. Okay. Kimball has requested that any thank yous go to our dealer here in Chicago. This piano stays in Chicago and our dealer put it in here and they're taking it back out free of charge. Normally that would cost about $700. So uh, the name is Mr. Mark Biasco, B-I-A-S-C-O, Biasco Musical Instruments, 5535. West Belmont, B-E-L-M-O-N-T Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60641. Biasco Musical Instruments, 5535 West Belmont Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60641.
Did everyone get it all right? Thank you for reading it twice and going slowly. Thank you. Because this is a great gift to us. Because I think there's just one instrument like this, usually in one of the large cities. That's what he tells me. So this is, uh, this is a wonderful privilege that we have. I don't know whether you can hear, but to me, it has a marvelous quality. It's outstanding. Uh, yes, my wife's not quite finished. She's, she, she loves this instrument. You know, when you, when you drive a Ford and Chevy and Plymouth and you get out in a Bentley or a Rolls Royce, you say, say, I tell you, I believe I like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My wife said something, but I couldn't hear what she said. said probably it's on up to an Excalibur. Oh, it's to the Excalibur. That's the green car. For the chariots shall rage in the streets, they shall jostle one against another in the broadways, they shall seem like torches and run like the lightning. 2200 years ago, they were prophesied. Their chariots shall rage in the streets, they shall jostle one against another in the broadways, that's your four, six lane highways. They, they shall jostle one against another in the broadways, they shall seem like torches, that's the electric light, that's the battery. And they shall run like lightning, and that is the wheel with a motor behind it. See, that's the engine and the electric light. And here we have the cars jostling one against another in the Broadways. And how, what a blessing they are. I picked up a man one time coming home from Earlham College in 19, either 38, 39, 40, 41. I'd drive back and forth all the time, 12 miles, you know, one way for three years. And I picked up this fellow up. He said, I'll tell you what. I said, yes, I'm listening. He said, the automobile is one of the greatest curses in the world. I said, my dear brother, you're riding in one. I said, this conveys is all about. I said, the automobile, it's, it's, uh, it goes wherever the man under the wheel guides it. I said, it's not the car, it's the person under the wheel. If he knows when to stop, he misses. Well, if he knows what to do, well, it's successful. I said, we don't blame the car. Oh, it helped me. My, my. I, I, I'm thankful for, see, how thankful are we for our automobiles? You, you, if you have to do without one for a while, just have to walk everywhere you go for a month. Oh, you'll say, oh, I, I, I hear what you say now. I'm hearing better. <laughs> so we're thankful for this automobile. Thanks to the video, to the sound personnel here. Thanks Thanks to all of you for your labor of love and all the work that's entailed here that we cannot see so much involved here. Thank you, everyone. And uh, we want to appreciate all the men that worked to get this room arranged. Did you notice all the beauty of how they did these chairs? I believe it got the attention of the personnel of this hotel to see how our our son and grandson and those that assisted them knew how to do all this work here, get everything according to law. You see, they, most everyone don't have to turn this way. See, it's all, it's beautifully done. And these men worked hard here. All the men who worked on this, please stand. All the men who worked on this, please stand. Give them a good hand. Thank you. We want them to know we appreciate it. See, it was hours and hours of hours of labor here. And thank you for it. We're very, very in debt to God for his presence to help us in every area of preparation. And as he would have the services to be, to be a blessing, a, a challenge, a feeding place, a refreshing time, a helpful time, healing through Christ, salvation to his precious blood and that we may be a sanctified people uh, as God and Jesus are one, may we be likewise persevering to the place of his perfect will that we become one in holy harmony without the slightest disagreement in complete oneness and accord in the harmony of his will and sweet abiding. 
So we want to thank you. Now we want to, we want to all the fathers to stand. All the fathers to stand. Look at these fathers. You know, you have a great responsibility. You know, we have a wonderful time of loving our companion and our children and being kind and gracious and thoughtful, never pressing, being so loving that they want to stay with you. When you go, they want to go. Isn't it a great thing? When my father went, I, I wanted to go with him. My mother said that when I was three and four years of age, and I recall this, when my father left to go to work, I jumped up and down, and I hollered, and I screamed, and I said, Daddy, please take me with you. Well, what would he done with a three and four year old? One day he took me to, the, to this little barn where we worked in broom corn. Little fellow, what did he do with me all day with broom corn? You see, to, to so live that your children, your daughters, and your, your sons will want to be like you. Powerful, obedient, loving, kind, tender, gentle, understanding. Oh, what a privilege we have. Oh, what an opportunity. It's a mission field of love. These are not just words, but I look around and some just look like this. Some look like this. How do you think you look when I said that? Well, this is a great adventure. Yeah. To be responsible for a child? Yeah. To mold it in his likeness yeah. in such a way that it'll not be repugnant or hurtful, but to love to be with us? Well, when I got my cards from my daughters and sons, oh my, my, I was so humble. I was so humble. Aren't we, aren't we rich? Yeah. Aren't we rich? Yeah. Yes. And all you men that do not have children, remember your love by someone, a mother, a father, a brother, a sister, a neighbor, or a pilgrim following Jesus, you're loved and you're thought about. We don't want to leave you out. So we want to give God all the praise. Heavenly Father, we pray that all fathers will have wisdom from thee to know what to say and what not to say, how to administer to their wife, how not put them under pressure, not to at any time have anger, or wrath, or pressure, or hurt, but tenderness and sweetness and long-suffering and patience, because some wives are slower and they need some encouragement. So we need a lot of grace and strength to know what to say and how to live at home so that our wives feel so good. My wife told me 45 years ago, she says, as much as I love to be with you, when you're gone here or there, I have the feeling you're there to help somebody help somebody. So we give thee the praise that you would minister to these men that power of thy presence in the word in dwelling that they will go forth as reapers, as gatherers, as helpers, as thoughtful persons. In Jesus' name and for thy glory. Amen. You may be seated. We want to thank again the Oilton Christ Fellowship. Larry, you did a beautiful, beautiful work. You're so dear. <laughs> Stand up, Larry. Stand up. Come up here where they can see you. such a blessing and we want to thank Jesus for it praise the Lord praise the Lord Hallelujah. so thankful for you and Catherine and the burden you carry for the church and for God's kingdom and brother Reverend Ryan and Donna yes. Yes. and the uh, parish yes that they might be encouraged the Lord's lifting yes oh it's great to be Hallelujah. a lifter it's great to be a lifter isn't it Wonderful.
Lord. Be. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much for all you've done and all those that assisted you. Yes. All that assisted him, would you please stand? Tommy? Yes. Everybody. Here's Come on. Tommy. Everybody. All of yeah. everybody. Helped Everyone that helped. Wonderful all unity. One. Yes, David. I want I don't want to fail here. Praise the Lord. Just think how how God thank you. You may be seated. How the Lord helped you to get this so beautiful here for us unworthy servants. Praise the Lord. Well, we had a we had a desire to make it just right. We wanted it. We wanted to do a special job for brother and sister Helm, and we're so thankful uh, for what they have done for us, aren't we? Oh my! Let's hear it. Well, this all to Jesus. Hallelujah! And Amen. and uh, I talked to brother Ryan, and we felt like we just really wanted to do a special job. So he said, "Well, how much do you need?" And I told him a number, and I I think he didn't really believe me. And we put that before the congregation, and we got more than we needed, and it wound up being exactly what we needed. So it I'm did so exactly what you needed. We raised eight hundred and fifty dollars. Eight hundred and fifty dollars. By God's grace. Oh, we want to sanctify, Lord. We sanctify and bless you in Thy name, because we want to be thoughtful of all that we can remember. There's so many things we can't remember to thank Thee for. So we want to thank you for this, and for the church, and the parish. And Reverend Ryan and Donna, for the day that you revealed to me in August, right. 23 years ago, that they were go. They were to go to Oilton, Oklahoma. Amen. And for precious Dorothy, that oh. believed me, yes. when I said you go and tell the chairman of the board that God has the Glory. servant. <laughs> and she did. Yes, she and did. you did a miracle in working uh, out some hallelujah. things. And uh, those 23 years, month after next, uh, they got there on September, the 28th, so it's a couple months or so ahead, or three. So we thank you, Lord, for how you worked in the Christian school and helped Deborah and all her assistants and all those teachers to help in that Christian school. Hallelujah. And it meant so much to our grandchild and Brandon like a grandson. And they were encouraged. Yes. They were encouraged. Hallelujah. We want to give you the praise for teaching these children how to pray, yes. how to work, and how to read. And, how to learn about thy will in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. We get to praise Jesus. Amen. Can I just say one thing? Please. Uh, last night I was uh, praying about what, uh, about, uh, what to share with Reverend Helm, because I wanted to share with him how wonderful it was and what an honor it was to be able to do a little bit of work for the kingdom and, and here for the waiting on God. And uh, the scripture came to me in John that said, where else can we go? What else do we have? All of us have come from different backgrounds, and I was so stirred up when I read that scripture. Jesus said to, the, to Peter, are you going to leave me too? And he said, Lord, where are we going to go? Well, we have heard such great things already here this morning. Where else could we go? Where else is there to go? I'm so thankful for the day that Georgine got to me, and I got to Palm Beach Gardens, and how Tom Mullins loved me through a, oh, a horrible, serious time that was very, very detrimental, a crossroads in my walk with the Lord. And it's because of his love and the love that he has for his people, and Bill and Donna Ryan to take me in as a son. It is a miracle of God that we're here today. That touches my heart. I'm Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. That's your brother's been saved and your father and mother's been saved. It's a story. It's a wonder. Out of New York City you came into light and joy and glory and found the blessed one of Israel. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. We want to praise you, Jesus, for his gracious brother, his parents. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. They want what he had. Jesus, the, the abiding Christ, the Son of the Most High God, for God, you so loved the world, to give us thine only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We praise you, Jesus, for this victory in the soul, for the glory of God. Hallelujah. To the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Joseph, Ephraim, and Manasseh, the mighty one, Jehovah, Yahweh, we give thee glory in Jesus' name for the blood, power in the blood. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, we had a good time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thanks <laughs> for praying for us. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, praise the Lord. Joy Bell, where are you? Right over here. Joy Bell, will you come to the piano, please? And, and we're going to... Uh, have a song, 147, in this little Revival Friday, Waiting Upon God, tour songbooks. I called Thomas a few weeks ago and I said, I'd like to have saved by the blood of the crucified one because it's, everything's in the blood. Really? Jesus Christ, precious blood. And uh, he said, yes, he would, he would get that. 
So take these little paths. Two of you will have to look on one. And uh, we, wanted, uh, we wanted that song so much and uh, other songs about the blood. Praise the Lord. It's 147. It's, I guess it's just a loose sheet here. Guy, guy, take care of it. Uh, yes, I talked to him. He and I had such a great time a few weeks ago. It was a time. Sweet. I wish I could tell you how it was. It's precious. And I said, now at the wedding from God, if he permits, I would like to have you lead us in this saved by the blood of the crucified one. And see, that's the way of the cross. Hallelujah. So, uh, do you have your sheets with you, all of you? Very good. Let us all stand. And the uh, guy, William? Some of the choir members at Scott Day will know this. Oh, yeah. Very they, good. Should we have a few come, or should we just sing them? Just lead them and let them. How many, how many do not know this? Now, thank you. How many do know it? Oh, we've got a pretty good number. Thank you very much. And keep right up. We know you'll keep right up the temple. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dota. Save the blood of the crucified one. Now rest the cross in the new world. Save the mother and raise the son. Save the blood of the crucified one. He's a liar. Praise the Lord for the blood. Hallelujah, the blood. I need it. I need the blood. The blood, the protecting blood, the saving blood, the keeping power in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, did, I enjoyed that, didn't you too? I'm sure you did. That second stanza, save of the blood of the crucified one, the angels rejoicing because it is done. Amen. Yeah. Think of it. Amen. A child of the Father, joined heir with the Son, saved by the blood of the crucified one. Praise the Lord. Amen. Save by the blood of the crucified one. The
wonderful? Amen. Oh, I, I thought it was great. Uh, you see, this is one of the great songs that got on my heart back some weeks ago. I said, oh, Thomas, could we have that song? He said, sure, I'll get it printed. We want to express appreciation uh, to the Lord for Harmony Press Amen. and for all that they've done for us in our letters. They've printed our letters now for I don't know how many years. And uh, we don't want to forget this uh, kindness and help. Now we're going to sing again, so we're just now beginning. The next one is nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my stain? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Number 30. Amen. Uh, amen. Nothing but the blood. Hallelujah. The victory is through the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. The blood will never lose its power. Praise God. It's all in the blood. Glory to God. Our life's in the blood. The life's in the blood. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God, praise the Lord for the blood. I need it. I need the blood of Jesus. Oh, to deliver me. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Exalt the blood of Jesus. Exalt the blood of Jesus. Some years ago, we went to uh, hear a, a precious uh, servant of God, a handmaid of Jesus, and she had died and went to heaven. And she was so ill, very ill, and she could see herself leave the body. She went right up and she got just to the door, the gateway of glory. Said it was so beautiful. It was so wonderful. She wanted to enter in and her trials would be over. And he said, no, my child, you're going back to earth. And you're going to tell them they haven't made enough about the blood. Tell the bishops and the ministers they haven't talked enough about the blood. And when she looked back at the earth, she said the earth was covered with, with demons as thick as a beehive. It's covered with bees. She said, you tell them they haven't made enough about the precious blood of Jesus. It's the blood of Jesus that cleanses me and saves us. We want to exalt Christ for the precious blood that he spilled on the cross to save me from my sins. A sinner is saved by grace. It's going to be by the blood I make it. It's going to be the mercies of God that I'm delivered from all deception and iniquities and evils to the holy will of God every day and every hour. Let me feel thy cleansing power. Praise the Lord. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. You just think there isn't anything else that can wash our sins away. There isn't anything else but the blood of Jesus. Knowledge and beautiful things and ideologies and all kinds of knowledge and wisdom. Uh, it doesn't do it. It's the blood of Jesus. Having faith as a child. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Now Jesus who's going to lead this. I don't know yet. We're just going step by step slowly here. <laughs> we really don't know. And we're just going slowly. Praise the Lord. Thankful, Jesus. Yeah, Jerry, you're the one. Amen. You're the one to lead us. Amen. Amen. When I see you, it operates in my heart. Amen. I see uh, it's important to have the right one. That's true. And see, God William did so great on this uh, old true. hymn with just a son. And this one, oh, probably you've known on nearly your whole lifetime. Praise the Lord. Nothing but the blood. Glad to see you.
could we have the men sing together? Nothing can for sin atone. Men really sing it. Nothing can for sin if you please. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, did you enjoy singing about the blood of Jesus? Wasn't it wonderful? Thank you. We're great. Now, you see, we have Joy Bell and Tony because I was driving down a highway in 1955. And my sweetheart was right here. I had her just as close to me as I could get. I wanted her right there. Still do. And uh, you see, we're in our sixth, we already passed 59 years of being together, so we're in our sixth year. My wife said to me, Dave Boyd, she said, we've been together going on 60 years. And how, how marvelous it is that God would help us. And here on the Quentin Highway, all at once, Jesus speaks to me in light, in light, and told me to see Ralph McDonald. And because of that leading, uh, step by step, I'll not take any more time. But we don't want to, we want to remember 
because the children of Israel, he wanted to review all the while, morning, noon, and night, and, and retiring about what he'd done for them. We wouldn't have Joy Bell. We wouldn't have the Hellbeings if he got and spoke to me February of 37. He, we wouldn't have you if I hadn't heard his voice and, and minded in 55, the month of August. See, we wouldn't have you. And many others. Because of that leading, I was in 35 to 40 revivals. Because of that one leading back then in those years. So it was very significant. And then I had the high privilege of being with you and leading you to Jesus. Yes. When you were four and a half years of age, four yes. years and seven months. Yes. That was a great evening. Oh, it was a great time. Great evening. Yes. And my father, oh, how he loved you. I loved him. Oh, I know you did. <laughs> oh, he'd talk about joy, yes. pal. This is, I had him with me in your home, your yes. father and mother. I want to pray for mother, you know, if everybody pray for Lily and Meredith, please. And when we were there, we had such a great time. He'd say, son, I don't know how you remember all these roads. He's up and down. He said, I'm lost. I know where I'm at. I said, just rest. Have a good time. I said, daddy, when I was a little boy, I wondered myself, where in the world would ever get home? You'd ever get lost. Now it's your time just to rest. <laughs> and he wondered where I learned all the ins and outs of those hills and mountains and all around. And oh, what a revival God gave us. He helped us so wonderfully. Old time conviction conversion. Praise the Lord. We want to thank Jesus for each one. I need more. I've seen so few today. So we want to praise the Lord uh, for you, Tony, and how he's helped us, uh, Reverend Cox and his family, and the sons that's been assisting here, uh, the, how God has worked with you and these precious ones. Thank you for help. Uh, just cooperate with Mother, you know. It's great, isn't it? You've got a great, great blessing. And you've been a help to us. And many others, thank you. Is there anyone particularly that you want? To, how many numbers have they? 21. You, I think they gave you a list. Thank you. I was so busy talking. I didn't have time to see you. Oh, it's number three. Oh, it's number three. Okay, this is... Thank the Lord how he's taught, uh, how he's uh, taught Joy Bell how to teach them how to hold their microphones. See, a lot of adults, they can sing well, but they don't hold their microphones up like they should. They hold them down here. And I'll mention over and over, next time, you know, wonderful singer holds his microphone. Instead of getting it right up there, holds it down here. And I'm so thankful they hold it up like that. Have you noticed it? Yes, sir. Now, we're at, we have a little class on how to hold our microphones. <laughs> See, I've played with people for how many years to do this? Clear back. And uh, so I'm going to hold it down here. I, I, uh, there's quartets that do it. So one of them will hold it up here and then I'll hold it down here. Right? Well, I said, well, I wish they'd have it right up here. Don't you? Why, well, yes. Yeah, it, it helps us all to hear better. True. I didn't know we were going to have a class on school uh, teaching here on holding a microphone so we can be heard. The microphone of a good spirit. Oh, it magnifies the love of God. Amen. Praise the Lord.
was so beautiful, I didn't want it to end. Oh, I wanted more. Oh, you did it beautifully, son. Oh, you did it so well. Oh, see, you've worked hard to do this, to articulate it, and have it so beautifully done. Thank you for loving your mother and father and cooperating. No, we're not through singing yet. We're just starting. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just number four, Joy Bell, if you please. That was a beautiful number. Joy Bell, you did it so well. Your piano playing was so interesting. Yes, I enjoyed it very much. Pleasure it is to hear you wish the body sing the deer in your dell, the sheep in your bell, the cold to be. Pleasure it is to hear you wish the body sing the deer in your dell, the sheep in lovely. Thank you very much. This is my duet from the cantata number 15. Now I'm not led on that one, but that's the one that I'd like to hear. <laughs> the Lord permitting me, the Lord allowing me. This is a Bach duet. It's from, from the duet from Cantata number 15. They're singing it in German. The words are, though, uh, I'm laughing and shouting for joy. Oh. <laughs> shouting and laughing. Uh, for evil is gone. The power of evil is vanished away. Ever rejoicing with thanks we pray. That's about it. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> Oh, 
What if I'd have missed that leading that day in August of 1955? Your salvation pivoted on that? Yes. Yeah. You told me it was a precious time. And just look, look, look what a treasure. Look what we're in here. Just think of it, how precious it is. Amen. That was my request there. I didn't know how it was going to be. I just felt like that would be, God would permit that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now this one is called the man named Jesus. The man called Jesus. one they're going to sing is something we all need. I need it. I've been praying for it since October of 1942. It's entitled Wisdom. Wisdom from God. I think if the peoples of the church had wisdom of God, 
there would be such togetherness. Because the wisdom of God teaches us how to behave ourselves and to have the best of manners and to be thoughtful, to be gracious, to be careful of how we speak. So the words we say are full of honey and sweetness without a thorn nor a briar. That it is applicable, it is inspiring, and it's like apples of gold and pictures of silver to know what he would have us to say. Sometimes we have to wait a long, long time to say something we wanted to say, just wasn't ready, wasn't fit yet. It was true, but it's not quite time. So we need wisdom of when to speak. Sometimes we have to wait a long while to say what we'd like to. And so therefore we must have wisdom to when to speak and how to speak. And that our manner will be a sanctified one that will be inviting, inspiring others to come to take up a cross and that they will not turn away because of Jesus working through you to be in his likeness. And therefore, press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus as he grants us wisdom. Next one is, Seek ye first, I imagine, the kingdom of God. Brentley and the younger one? Stephen. Stephen. Stephen and Brentley. I'll just take it's been a privilege to hear you. Thank you.
brighten up my soul. I like to have him sing after a while, 12 gates to the city, if it's, if it's all right. Thank you. Not my way. This is not my way. Okay, here we go, boys. Isn't this wonderful? Yeah. Oh, this is a treat. You got to brighten up my soul. Brighten up my soul. You got to brighten up my soul. Brighten up my soul. You got to brighten up my soul. If I'm to carry the heavy load, you got to brighten my soul with sunshine. Light up my soul. Brighten up my soul. You got to brighten up my soul. You got to brighten up my soul. If I'm to carry the heavy load, you got to brighten my soul with sunshine. I'm in trouble and I need you, Lord. The devil's calling and he's pulling hard. And I don't know if I can make it through unless you brighten my soul with sunshine. Yeah. 
twelve gates to the city. They're looking at his father. Their father. This is Father's Day. Tony can open up the stops and let the volume out. I tell you, sometimes it's, it's tremendous how God helps him. He's such a helper. Oh, what a helper. He's so thoughtful. He knows what's going on. He knows what's going on around. And we're thankful for that. And, but you don't know. He, he just kind of just moves through traffic and you. Oh, such love, such tenderness, such insight. Such interest and uh, such helpfulness, and we want to praise Jesus for it. Sure, grateful for Paul and his wife that had you and your brothers uh, to be helpers, thoughtful. Praise the Lord. We would ask you to be uh, tolerant of this. I found this arrangement some while back, but our schedules have been um, prohibitive to learning it as thoroughly as we would feel comfortable with. Sure. So we're just going to make do the best we can with it and hope you'll enjoy it. Sure. to say amen. amen. Wonderful gift. Thank you, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thankful indeed for how he leads and guides and blesses and uh, directs his children. We're thankful. Brother Walter Dunn, I see you here today. Remind me of John Wayne and Johnny Cash. <laughs> Nobody like you, you know. You love Jesus and just the way you are. It's so interesting, so precious. You got a song on your heart that's burning? 
remember last year's throat was a little bit, uh, you know, on the sore side. But we're trusting uh, that the Lord would give him help today. Uh, if you don't know which one to sing, you got uh, there's number two. If you got it with you, I don't know. Yeah, you got number two, Walter. Jerusalem. Jerusalem. I always feel at home in yes. Jerusalem. Right, right. And, um, but uh, this is gonna, I'm sorry, I didn't bring my list. country and uh, so Barbara began to read our book to him and uh, he was lying there on the couch and of course he'd been out in far place and she read on and she read on she read one chapter she read two chapters and you just listened she read three chapters I don't know how long she read uh, can you recall well she said uh, darling said uh, I told the Lord 
Joseph. Uh, my name was in the book. Uh, I'd come back and I'd go serve him. And uh, the, the, she got to the part where it said, uh, and today, uh, uh, Rebecca and Barbara Pumphrey came over. To help us. And if I ever needed us. if I needed them that and day. that was a turning point. That was a life. turning point in your life, right there. And I said, well, Barbara, I don't know uh, what you do. You see, I can't. I wish we could drag everybody with us. Yeah, but we can't. But I had to go. I said, you had to go. I'm going to see you. Father and Mother I tonight. Yes, sir. Because I'm going to go with Jesus. You're going to go with Jesus. Right then, you made up your mind that night. After all those uh, one or two. About 12 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I got to home and Rebecca's at about 2 o'clock. 2 in the morning. And they were sitting up waiting for me. Yes, sir. And they led you to Jesus. Oh, yeah. We prayed and had a great time. <laughs> Praise the Lord. When I came back home. I was just shared this today. As I was coming back home from that, it was early in the morning. The Lord said, You can't stay. You can't live anymore where you're at. No, you got to keep. Got to change keep what you got. Yes, sir. You got to change your whole got environment. Whole environment and go with and Jesus, people. Yes. And so I was that day. We moved out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our apartment. Moved out the old way. Yes, Started sir. the upper Moved path. out to a little church yeah. that we had in the country. Yeah. And we stayed there for a year. Praise the Lord. Waiting on Jesus. Amen. Finally, it's. Uh, I prayed with Homer. I said, Homer, I need something else. Yes, sir. Pray for me to be sanctified. Yeah, cleanse the, the old kernel to receive the yeah. Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. But the, the greatest day of my life was waiting on God. And, and uh, we were in Compass Cove. Yeah. We were supposed to be, but we had a meeting. The Lord said, yeah. meeting in Compass Cove. Yes, yes. And the morning was dreary. Oh, the morning was so dreary. I woke up. Some things were going on in our life, and I thought, oh, Jesus. I said, I've been, I've been uh, with some people in my life. Yes, I mean, oh, I understand. People who represent oh. themselves to be I mean, God, and I don't judge them. Yes, but it's always been a disappointment. And as I walked across behind me, towards the church to that meeting, I said, oh, God, I can't be, I can't, I can't have a heart broken again. I can't be disappointed again. This is real. Praise and the Lord. We went into the meeting and this brother Taylor started sharing something. I was, well, I'm going to tell you, brother him. I can hear him today. <laughs> it's all. Oh. It said, as I came into this fellowship, said, I just came in, first it's grass. Said, then I was walking in clover. And just about that time, my father in law shouted and danced across the pulpit. Oh, <laughs> And I, something hit me in my heart, folks. I can't tell you what it was. Oh, the Holy Spirit. And it knocked me over in my seat, and there came out of me what, in Spanish, we call an aguilito, oh. uh, a, a shout. Like something came up out of me. Uh, the Holy Ghost. Yes. yes. Out of me like this, and Thank you, I Jesus. said, oh, Thank you, I Jesus. know it's real. Praise the Jesus. And then Praise that God. day, then the, when it came out, Oliver and all and went to the and the sun was shining. You know, sunlight. <laughs> yes, sunshine. But, but that you see, that's what God had to help me with. Was that broken heart? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And the real thing. Yes, sir. I, I'm sorry. It's, just, it's so good. I, I don't uh, I'm so glad. Said, oh. And then next door to you lived someone that was in drugs. You remember, and you gave him a book. The Lord. The led Lord, me the to Lord did give you the book. A book. He worked with me. Yes. And the Lord got a hold of them. Mm -hmm. And did they find him? Yes, sir. They sure did. Right. We got and to, to this, this young man, uh, thank God, yes, sir. Uh, just received his master's degree in nursing from the University of Texas. Oh, I see. And, and here he's found Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Completely yeah. Oh, changed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. He told someone that oh, yeah. was going to go to school. He said, now, listen, let me tell you something. He said, now, this witness in your heart's right. He said, now. But I never said I prayed about every course I was supposed to take and said uh, the only time I had any trouble was when I didn't obey the law. It's always, it's always the so case. So one time I said I just yeah. took a course that I wanted to take mm -hmm. and said it was a disaster. Yeah, that's the way it works. Isn't that, but that's, see, that's yeah, your great, great grandchild. Grand. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. That's a great grandchild. <laughs> Praise <laughs> the Lord and Praise Jesus. Lord. Praise the Lord. It's sure good to see you, son. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Man, it's a miracle.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Uh, we want to thank him. Praise him. Give him all the glory and all the praise and all the honor. All I works and leads and guides and blesses. Let's all stand, please. Heavenly sunlight, heavenly sunlight, flooding my soul with glory divine. Together. Heavenly sunlight, heavenly sunlight, flooding my soul. 